guys, Mr. G here with Far Loan Sales, and we're going to talk about what this game is, if you're going to like it, and if it's going to be worth your money. Um, this is a pretty interesting game. I would call it more of a work of art or a walking simulator uh, than a game, but do not take that as a negative thing. The first thing that's going to hit you in this game is its simplicity, artistic style, monochromatic arts. Everything's in a black and white gray scale except for some tones of red which help you find interactive objects in your environment like buttons or the parts of your ship that you're going to be controlling. So your character, your protagonist, is going through a dry and deserted world in their steamship. Um, I don't want to spoil too much of this because you're going to figure it out as you go along and it's pretty simple to figure out. You really don't need a guide on this. But essentially you're going to use items uh, in the landscape that you come across and convert those into steam fuel. So it's pretty much like a locomotive where you're burning wooden boxes and things to power your ship. And you're going to run into some puzzles and some other items along the way. And the music is custom created to change as you interact in the game. All the soundscape and the art is absolutely gorgeous and extremely well done. So this is a game that's probably going to take you maybe between four or five hours. Um, and you're going to just have a really pleasant, relaxing experience. If you want a game where you're just going to take it easy, sit back in your chair, sip a cup of tea or a cup of coffee, while you watch the game world unfold, this game definitely subscribes to the show don't tell philosophy. There's nothing in here you can't figure out just by playing around, looking at the world and interacting with it. I've really been enjoying just sitting down and playing this game with my son. He absolutely loves it because it's so beautifully crafted and well done. The only real character in the story is your protagonist who's going to have to deal with things like his ship getting on fire, his ship getting damaged. You can even get out and tow your ship and pull it with a cable. The sheer sense of solitude, loneliness, and desolation is palpable in this. Listen to the audio of this storm. You feel like you're actually in an old cabin out on a stormy day as the rain pelts down on your lonely ship all alone. This game is going to be about $14.99 on Steam. And if you want something that's going to let you relax for a couple hours, you want to get some different achievements on it in Steam, I highly suggest that you pick up Far Loan Sales. It's an absolutely gorgeous art piece of a game, and I can't recommend it enough. Sometimes you need a break from games that have so much grind and work, and you just want to let the game let you experience it in its own way, and this is a game that does exactly that. They know what they wanted to be when they made it, and they did an excellent job crafting this art piece into just an enjoyable, relaxing experience. That's all I need to say on this one, guys. If you find games where you get to pilot interesting vehicles, fun and cool and apocalyptic settings, well, hey, I cover all that stuff on the channel because that's the kind of stuff I like. So you want to stay up to date on more indie game reviews and games I think are cool, like and subscribe because I'm bringing new reviews of indie games every single week on the channel. All right, guys. Sorry for the voice today. I'm still sick. It sounds like this when I'm not sick. We all know that anyway. Mr. G out.